to Marketplace Africa, where we cover the biggest economic trends impacting the continent. I'm Eleni Jokos in Johannesburg. Now, Africa's labor force is booming. According to the World Economic Forum, Africa is expected to have the largest working age population of 1.1 billion by 2034. From agriculture to financial services, over 21 million new formal wage-paying jobs were created over the last five years and 53 million over the last 15 years. Now, trending professions in Africa include the creative industries, from 3D designers to education, data center, and healthcare workers. But there's still a lot of room for growth when it comes to jobs within infrastructure and ICT. But there's still not enough of these jobs available on the continent, and especially in places like Kenya. That's why people are turning to the informal sector to earn a living. Carpentry, cleaning, food service, transportation. The streets of Nairobi are alive with commerce. And the majority of work down here in Kenya takes place within the country's growing informal sector. I do several things. I'm a plumber, electrician, and also do paint work. Stephen Mushange is one of about 12 million Kenyans working within the informal sector, known for low-paid, irregular work without employment contracts, government regulations or worker protections. And the significance of the sector continues to grow. The contribution of the informal sector to Kenya's uh, GDP increased from 18.9% uh, in uh, 1999 to 23.5% uh, in uh, 2016. So that means that uh, it accounts for about one quarter of uh, the country's GDP. Over the past decade, Kenya's population has increased by more than 10 million. With roughly 40% of Kenyans under the age of 15, there are simply not enough formal salaried positions to absorb the 1 million new people entering the Kenyan job market each year. Even higher education offers few guarantees of formal employment. If you look at the employment trends in Kenya, you would find that it takes between uh, graduates, fresh graduates, between five and ten years to get a job. And that is why students are also coming out with open minds, that they really don't have to uh, wait for formal employment. Where the opportunities are is within the informal sector. One Kenyan company is working to enhance those opportunities through infrastructure and technology. In the US and in Europe, the gig economy is, is seen as quite a scary thing. And it's seen as taking formal sector jobs which have regular pay, a series of benefits, and breaking them into unreliable and low paid work. So what Link does is aim to um, formalize these gigs, to formalize the informal sector. Um, providing regular income and uh, the ability to tie together these separate gigs into a cohesive career. Provide the entrepreneurship infrastructure that helps informal workers to thrive on a digital platform. The first piece of that infrastructure is a personalized website helping link professionals like Anne Mwaniki to market their services. I love designing very much and I could design very nice things but I didn't have a way of getting them out there in the market. Usually you are limited by your geography of where you are because you don't have a means of transport to just go and look for work all over and so you're only getting job across a very narrow uh, geographical area. Link broadens their geographic reach as well as their social circle. These people might lack access to the um, people that could give them bigger jobs. Um, what Link does is seeks to break that down and provide much wider marketing outside of their normal geographies and outside of their normal social network. This is my profile on the Link website. It has uh, my rating, has all my photos. Customers access a network of Link verified pros by requesting a job through the website or mobile app. The Link platform relays requests to shortlisted candidates and pros bid on the job by submitting a quote. Mushange says he has completed more than 300 jobs through the Link platform 
over the last few years. The customers have, uh, are, have given out uh, their reviews and we start with this one, she is called Niraj, it was a 4.5 out of 5 rating. With informal employment growth outpacing formal employment growth in Kenya by 16%. Entrepreneurs like Mushange see opportunities ahead. If you do something with passion, something that you love, you'll always produce the results. And where there are results, of course, the rewards are good. When we return, I'll introduce you to a Harvard dropout whose startup turned him into one of the world's youngest self-made billionaires. Stay with us.